Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install WordPress using WAMP on a Windows computer. Now, here I am at WordPress.org. I already have WAMP installed and configured, so if you need to set that up, please refer to our video on how to set up WAMP we did in the Magento series. I can link it in the comments of this video or in the description. Now, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is download WordPress. So there's this big blue download WordPress button. There's also one here at the top. If you click this, it's going to take you to a page where you can then click this download button and it's going to get you the latest version and it's going to be zipped up. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded this and I've extracted this zip into my www folder. Here I have, you can see this WordPress folder, it's in my C drive. And if I open this folder, you can see some files here. We have a readme, uh, content admin, this stuff, this is what comes with WordPress. This is the WordPress files. So now what we need to do is we need to come in here and we need to make sure our server is running. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure our WAMP server is running. Okay, so we have the red W is now a green W. I can confirm that this is in fact working just by going to my local host and then going to PHP My Admin. Now I got there by clicking on the W and then selecting PHP My Admin. To log in, your password is just root and blank unless you've changed it. I can click uh, log in here. And now let's click databases and let's create a database. So we're just going to call this um, WP hyphen level up. Now let's click create. And this is going to create a database for us, WP underscore level up. So that's the first step is we need a database created. Um, of course, we need to have WordPress downloaded. Now we need to set up our web space. Uh, to do that in WAMP, we click on the W. Now we can come up to where it says Apache and we want to go to alias directories and you'll see that we have a couple of directories set up, but we want to set up uh, the WordPress. So let's go add an alias. Now it's asking us to name it. We're going to name this WordPress or whatever you'd like to name your site on your local host. Now it's asking us where we want this to point to. So we have put this in our C www and then WordPress like that. And then a forward slash. Now we can hit enter. It says our alias was created and we press enter to exit. You notice the W briefly turns orange. That's so the server can uh, restart and then add, once it adds the new property here. Now we can go to this property by opening a new tab, going to local host and then slash WordPress, just like this. And now it's gonna tell you there isn't a uh, WP config file. And this is because the WP config file gets created during installation. So let's click continue. And now it's going to ask for this information. That, of course, we already have. Our database name is WP underscore level up. Our username is root. Our password is blank. And the database host is local host. Now, it's going to say uh, you can have a table pref prefix if you want to have a multi-site. In fact, we can talk about that later. But for right now, we're going to leave that as the default. So let's click Let's Go. Our database name is WP underscore level up. Our username is root. Our password is blank. Database host is localhost. Table prefix is just WP underscore. Now you could change this if you want, but like I said, we're not doing anything crazy with this, so we're going to leave it as is. Now let's click submit. If everything went fine, you're going to get this screen that says, all right, Sparky, you've made it through this part of the installation. So now it's going to populate our database and install WordPress. So let's go. Okay. Now we need to add in the site title, which is just going to be level up WordPress. Uh, my username can be admin. My password is going to be uh, just a really easy password, although you can see there's an indicator here. 
it's uh, the indicator is basically going to tell you if your password is very weak, which mine is. Um, but you are going to be wanting your password to be strong because this is going to be the password that you log into the site as an administrator. If somebody has this password and it's a cheap, easy password that they can get because you use it for a bunch of stuff or something, then they could log into your site, delete all your content, basically wreak havoc. So you want this password to be secure, something that nobody else knows. And I'm gonna have my password or my uh, email be scott at leveluptuts.com. Cool. And we're going to allow search engines to index the site because um, we, of course, want places like Google to find this. So let's click install. And now we get this success. WordPress has been installed. We are, uh, you know, it's saying, oh, well, that, you know, it's really easy. So your password's your password. Username is admin. And let's click add login. So notice when you click login, it takes you to your uh, address here, slash WP a hyphen login. And now this is the path that you're going to get to anytime you want to log in this site. So you might want to maybe bookmark this or something or save it or copy it so you know how to get to here to log in. I'm going to click remember me. I don't trust that it does remember this password. So I'm going to go ahead and click login. And it's taking us to our dashboard here. Now if we open up the front end of the site, we get the Hello World page, and we have officially installed WordPress on Windows using WAMP. And this is Windows 7, but the process is going to be the same regardless of what version of Windows you're using, as long as you're using WAMP. So check it out. We now are ready to go. You can follow the rest of the videos, and this is going to be the exact same. Although for the rest of the videos, we will be doing the development on a Mac it won't matter. You should be having the same exact process and experience on your local host for Windows as well. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Check out the Level Up Tuts forum, anything. Just get at us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.